Hi everyone and welcome to JSA TV. I'm Barb Mitchell and this is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals and JSA Radio, the voice of tech and telecom professionals. I'm here today in Chile, Calgary, Alberta, Canada with Rob Barlow, President and CEO of WireIE. Rob, thanks for coming. Thank you. You've been busy making headlines this year, lots of different news that maybe you can share with us. Can you tell us a little bit about what's been happening? Oh yeah, it's been very exciting. Uh, we have lots of growth. Um, our clients are really starting to uh, you know, recognize the value of our award-winning products. Um, so, you know, we're experiencing exponential growth year over year, and this past year has just been the start of uh, a trend that we're seeing. That's great. And recently, you sat on a couple of different CEO roundtables, specifically talking about things like IoT and cloud computing and how they impact data centers and things like cybersecurity. Can you talk a little bit about what you, what you learned and observed while sitting on those those roundtables? Well, Internet of Things and Industrial Internet of Things are here to stay. So if you look at uh, the forecast, by 2020 there will be more Internet of Things devices out there than mobile phones. So what we're seeing though is that uh, it's here, it's a, it's a reality, but there are challenges. There are challenges with infrastructure, the amount of data that's required. In fact, uh, there's, you know, if you think of a smart car, that's equivalent of 12 HD videos per hour. And uh, so, you know, you look at the implementation of, uh, or plans to implement 5G, there's a lot of work that has to happen. WireE is an organization that does implement Internet of Things networks. Um, we know that there are, are challenges, we know how to manage them. It's, it's really a different way of implementing. You have to understand the, uh, the business requirements um, and we have to understand the end customer and you have to understand where their data is being stored. So it really is um, something that, that is different and unique. Uh, we've been very successful so far. Uh, our products are, are certified by the Metro Ethernet Forum, Carrier Ethernet 2.0 to kind of meet those challenges. And recently you've actually been honored with a couple of different awards, one being the Best North American Project from Global Capacity Carrier Awards, as well as being a finalist for your MEF certified product. Can you, can you talk a little bit about how your product offerings are, are meeting a need of underserved markets globally? Yeah, we're very excited. I mean, it's nice to be recognized. Uh, my team has done a lot of hard work uh, to make it happen. Um, what we're finding is that the pro projects that we're, um, you know, have been uh, have been recognized for are really adding quite enough a, a lot of value. We're adding robust networks um, that are high high availability, uh, having large enterprises, you know, save a lot of money on workforce management and, you know operational costs. So it's, it's really, um, you know, taking mission critical applications, giving them the platform to, to, to implement them and, and managing big data. So why are you, um, you know, sees that there's a lot of migration of legacy technologies that, that needs to happen to fourth generation products like ours. And really, you have to understand the total cost of ownership of those networks and the pay paybacks and the real business impacts if you don't have a good uh, product or, or high, high availability network. And as this year is winding to a close, can you talk a little bit about some of the advancements you've seen in the industry over 2016 and, and what you see on the road ahead for 2017? Well, we really are watching and tra tracking the growth of Ethernet. It's key to our company's success. Um, we're seeing, you know, four years ago there was a $20 billion worldwide of the wholesale Ethernet market and in the next four years it will be up to $80 billion. So that's triple digit growth year over year. It's really, um, you know, you're seeing software as a service being implemented in a bigger way to all different types of verticals, cybersecurity, uh, you know, the need for low latency, uh, networks, the need for networks that are quality networks, N networks that, you know, are, are up when you need them and, and they're, they, they really have a good quality around, um, you know, that allows you to monitor and use these software as a ser service applications and big data. So we're seeing this whole evolution of quality and the understanding that this is now a mission critical piece of our business plan. Uh, it's not something that's just an afterthought. 
So Wire IE is key to making this happen for large enterprise and our clients, and we're seeing 2017 and beyond as a very exciting future. That's great, Rob. Thanks so much. Thanks for joining us today, and, and thanks to all of you for tuning in to JSA TV.